What's going on? This is a deck of cards. Dumbbell workout. If you don't want to listen to me rant and explain, you already know how to do these, then I will put a timestamp around here and we can get going. But if not, if you need an explanation, I'll go ahead and say you don't need a, a ladder. I just have this as an elevated surface because we're mostly going to be in our feet. I don't want to be bending over every time I have to draw a card. I'm using eight pound dumbbells. I know they're different colors. Don't ask why, but they're both eight pounds. You can use whatever weight you want. And if it gets too difficult throughout the workout, you can drop the weights. Most of these, all of the exercises can be done without, without dumbbells, but I encourage you to use them as long as you can. And now let's get into it. So it's a 54 card deck. I use two jokers. Each suit is going to correspond to a different exercise, and then the jokers will be an independent exercise on their own. So you have hearts, spades, diamonds, and clubs. And then also the amount of times you do that exercise will be indicated by the number on the card. Face cards being jack is 11, queen is 12, king is 13, and ace is 14. Joker, like I said, is going to represent an entirely separate workout. So to run through the different workouts that we're gonna be doing, the hearts are gonna be uh, what I like to call Arnold's or curl presses. You're just gonna curl and then press. Curl and then press. Spades are going to be called punishers. Let me put Matt here for a second. These are the only ones you're not going to be on your feet for. You're going to go down to push-up position. And you can do a push-up if you want to, or you can just pull it back. The main part of this is that you're getting in push-up position and pulling back. The push-up is an extra part. I'm going to do the push-ups as long as I can. Since I'm the trainer, I've got to be pushing myself as much as I can. But Still, if you're just doing plank and pulling back, that's totally fine too. It's really not that big of a deal. Diamonds are gonna be flies. So you wanna have slightly bent knees, just a little bit, don't go too far. Just do not lock your knees out. Just a slight bend. You wanna hinge your back forward. You don't, wanna, you don't wanna curve it. You wanna keep it flat and go forward, arms out, and just fly them open. You wanna pinch your shoulder blades like you're trying to hold a pencil or any some type of small thing just in those shoulder blades, you just want to pinch them back together. And then for clubs, we're going to have our squat overhead hammers. So you don't need to squat too much, but definitely get a tiny bit of a squat where you're engaged. And then you want to just pull down and then like you're hammering. Up and down like a hammer. Up and down. So again, hearts are Arnold's. Spades are Punisher's. Diamonds are flies, and clubs are squats with the overhead hammer. Jokers are going to be 90 seconds, roughly, of speed bags. Speed bags are, if you can't see, I don't know if my dumbbells are going to go too high in the camera shot, but you're, ro you're rotating your arms and just spinning them in circles. Above your head, though, you spin them, and then we'll switch halfway through each one, and that'll be only twice with the jokers. So. Without more explanation, I know I've been talking a lot. I just want to make sure everybody knows what they're getting into. We're going to go ahead and start. And we're going to get our first card here. It's going to be the two of spades. So we have two punishers. And I did forget to mention that one punisher is both arms. So one, one is one, not one. And then whatever. It wouldn't be even. We're going to get the odd number. So I'm going to do one, one, that's one. One, one, and that's two. All right. Now we got the ten of diamonds. So that's going to be flies. Again, back, leg bent, back straight. And just do ten. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. All right. Seven of diamonds. So seven more. Okay, I'm going to face the camera here, so get a little close to that wall. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. The ace of clubs. Going to be our overhead hammers. 
you remember just a little bit of a squat. You don't need to be going too far down. Just mildly engage with your legs. It's going to be eight, so that's 14. We're going to go up and down 14 times. One, two, three. Make sure that back's not curving. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, three more, two more, and the last one. Good job. Seven of spades. That's going to be punishers again. Remember, it's not one rep until you do both sides. One, one, that's one. Two, three, four, five. Six, one more set, and set. We've got 10 of clubs now, which is going to be our overhead hammer squats. Remember, moderately engaged, and go. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Eight pounds is pretty heavy. I might regret that here. And then, got our jack of diamonds. It's gonna be our flies. The jack's gonna be 11 reps. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one more, eleven. Good job. Six of clubs. So we're going to go to our overhead hammer squats again and go. One, two, three, four, five, one more, and six. Six of spades. So we're going to those punishers again. Probably gonna get you on those push ups. It's getting me. One set. Two, three, four, five, and six. Three diamonds. Diamonds are going to be our flies. Let's do three good reps here. Three, two, and one. Next is our queen of diamonds. So let's go ahead and pack onto those flies again. Queen's going to be 12. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, Halfway there, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. If your arms aren't burning really hard by now, ten of hearts. That's Arnold's. Or just curl foot presses. Do ten of them. One, two, three. Four, five left. 
six, seven, eight, two more, two, and last one, one, good job. Three of spades. Spades are lovely punishers. And if you need to remember, just row it back. And I'll do those with you this time. Three, so just one, one, two, two, three. If you're still doing push ups, that's great. Three and three. Now we get the nine of diamonds. That's going to be our flies. Again, knees slightly bent. And go. Seven, eight, and nine. Good job. Five of diamonds. Knocking out those flies early. So we'll do five, four, three, two, and last one, one. We've got the joker now. <laughs> The joker is going to be those speed bags. Let me get my watch ready. I'll get it on the ground so I can look at it while it's going. It's going to be 90 seconds. And halfway through, we will switch directions of it. So, in three, two, go. I'm going forward at first. And roughly 45 seconds into it, we will reverse. Just try to stay consistent with whatever speed you've got and started with. You can adjust that now, go ahead. Just keep pace that you know that you can do for 90 seconds. It's gonna burn in your shoulders and your forearms. It's an excellent arm workout. Excellent for your wrists as well. Get about five more seconds till we reverse it. Remember, there's only two of these. And reverse. And they are built to be a little difficult. So if you're burning really bad, just let it burn for a little bit. We got 30 seconds. Slight rest after these jokers. I guess that's the benefit of them. In my other videos too, I like to give at least a 15, 20 second rest after the joker exercises because they are a little more difficult. Got five seconds left. Hold it up, keep holding. Three, two, and done. Drop them. Put the weights down for a second if you need to. Go grab the water. Call your mom, call your dad, call your grandma, call your local legislator. Whoever you need to call to get whatever you need done. Call pizza delivery and go ahead and order you a nice pizza. Call whoever you want to. All right, we're gonna get going here. I'm gonna give you a little bit longer of a rest, 15 seconds. I say I'm gonna give you a little bit longer of a rest, but I'm also giving you a rest too. So, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the next card, but we're gonna go in 10 seconds. It's gonna be a seven of clubs. We're gonna get back to those, those hammers for so three seconds, two, and let's go. That was a seven, seven reps. One, two, and remember to keep your legs kind of engaged here. Don't be standing up and doing it. Don't be locking out your knees. I believe that's four, five, six, and seven. Good job. Hopefully you feel a little recovered from that rest. Now we got the nine of spades, the punishers, yes. I'm gonna start with doing the push-ups, see how far I can go. Remember, both arms is one rep. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, no, sorry, eight, and one more, each side, and nine, good job. Jack of clubs. It's going to be our overhead. We do 11 of them. Remember, squat to engage and go. One, two, three, four, five, six more. Three more. Nine, ten, last one. Good job. Queen of clubs, right back at it. So it's going to be 12 this time. Engage. If you need to drop to one weight and just hold them between your hands, that's good too. Or if you need no weights, that's great too. One, we're doing 12. Two, three, four, five, six, halfway there, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Good job. Hearts. Getting back to those arms. Or curl presses, whatever you want to call it. That's going to be the jack of hearts. So we're doing 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, one more, and eleven. Eight parts, there we go. Fourteen more. Shake it out and let's get them. One, two. Gotta keep your core tight on these two. Whenever you're doing any exercise, it always helps. Just to flex your core a little bit whenever you're doing it. That's five. I don't want to lose count, sorry. Always give your core a nice little, a nice little flex. Nine, ten, four more guys. Eleven, twelve, two more. Thirteen, and fourteen. Good job. King of Bays. So our lovely punishers. Starting out with push-ups again for me. Push-ups are kind of a specialty of mine, so you can't do the push-ups every time. It's not a big deal. Just pull back. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, all right, halfway there, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Three more rounds. Eleven. Twelve. Last round. Thirteen. And hit the brakes. Ah! Woo! Last thing to last for two minutes. Going. Just gonna make sure. Keep feeling them. Got about 90 seconds 
If you don't have a place to do these abs, I'm sorry, but you hit the brakes as a little extra. I like to add some workout. You don't want to do it. You want to use this kind of rest. That's great. Got about a minute left. Keep going. I might be going a little longer. That's okay. seconds left. Twenty seconds left. Keep crunching them. Keep crunching them. I know you signed up for a dumbbell arm workout, but you also signed up for a good workout. This is part of what I do. You can push yourself or not. Three. Two, hey, good job, guys. Take a 15 second rest. I'm gonna go right back into it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pick another card here and we'll get ready. We're gonna free your heart, so we'll come back into it easy. Remember, as the Arnold's, we're talking a few seconds. Three, two, one, let's go. There's three of them. One, two, and three. Good job. Got an eight of diamonds. That's gonna be our standard flies. Don't lock the legs out. Nice bend, nice bend forward. It's moments like these where you gotta learn to keep that form. Three, four, do not sacrifice your form. It will injure you. Six, seven, eight. I used to have problems, I wanted to lift heavier weights so I looked cooler. And then I realized I don't look as cool because when I lift heavier weights and I can't really lift, I end up having a side posture, my arms look too big for my body, or just something weird. So it might seem good for your ego, but it's not good for your body. And just learn to build up. If you can't do eight pounds yet, that's fine. Do six, do five, do nothing. But only do them when you can do it right. Nine of hearts, we're going back to those Arnold's. And I'm sure there's parts of these videos where I'm not doing them perfectly right. But I'm trying to stay focused, as focused as I can on the form. Four, two, nine, five, six, seven, two more, eight, and nine. Another joker. We're gonna go back to those speed bags. Remember, there's only two jokers, so this is our last joker. And let me go ahead and reset this. Let me reset this real quick. All right, and we're gonna go in three, two, start. Drop that. Totally understandable if you need to drop your weights. But hold on as long as you can. Because like I said, there's only two jokers. So this is the only other time you have to do this, and we get a rest afterwards, so it's great. Surprise. If I mess up on counting, I try to always look back at the cards if I'm not sure. If I mess up with the counting, don't hold me to it. I'm not very good at math. In fact, I cheated my way through college, which is not a good thing to do, but I did have my friend forge a fake ID with my name on it and his picture, and he took my math test for me, and I passed. Luckily, the extent of my math in my career and my life is reading cards at this point, so I think I'm pretty good. I do not condone cheating either. But I did it. All right, We've got 20 seconds left, and it's burning bad. 
probably need to shut up, save some of my energy. Ten seconds, guys. Whew. It burns like hell. Three, two, I'm about to drop one of them. It's falling out of my hand. All right. A 30 second rest there. If your arms don't feel like they're on fire, you need to push yourself next time, or you need to just rewind this video and do it again. Because that is meant to burn you out, and that is the purpose of it. We're gonna start back with the five of spades. Here in about five seconds. That's our punishers. So you can go ahead and get down. Start in three seconds. And let's go. That's the five, I believe, so I'm gonna do five. Four. One. Three, four, one more set, and five. Good job. The deck's getting slightly thin over here, guys. Five of hearts. I'd say we're a little bit over halfway done. And five more notes. One. Two, three, probably should feel a little bit from those feet bags. Four, especially when you go up. And five, good job. Five clubs. Remember our clubs are our overhead hammers. So engaging the legs. Don't cheat yourself out of that. But don't go all the way down. Just a nice middle engagement. We're doing five. One, two, Three, two more, four, and five. Good job. Nine club. Get right back at it. Staying engaged. We're doing nine. One, two, three, four, five more. Four more. Three, two, and done. Good job. Six cards. Get the Arnold. Now let's get them. One, two, three, four, two more. Five. Six. Not looking forward to that ace of spades, and I hope it's not this yet. Six of diamonds. We got the six of diamonds. That's gonna be flies. Just slight bend on your knees. I need to go down too far. Remember your form here. Do not keep your back too curled. Keep yourself straight. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Next card, four of spades. That's our punishers. Four sets. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. And four. Nice. Eight of spades. Right back down to those punishers. Remember, push-ups are not required in these. You want to just have that strong core in the middle, and you'll be rolling up. And the first one normal. That's one, two, three, four, five. Oh man, did I miscount? Let's see, that's five, six, seven, seven, I said, eight, and eight. Nice. All right. Two of diamonds, that's just two flies. Slide bend in the knees. 
and two. One, two. My arms are slowly turning to nothing. Four up close. It's gonna be our overheads. Squat presses, remember. You want your legs engaged a little bit more on these. We're doing four of them. One, two, three, and four. Ace of diamonds, that's 14 flies. I know I put my cards up on that so I wouldn't bend over, but let me know I'll rest for a second feels good too. Let's see, ace of diamonds against 14 flies. Try to do them unbroken. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, five more. 10, 11, 12, 13, last one, 14. Deck's getting pretty thin, guys. Keep coming. Four diamonds. I just knock these four out real quick. Come on. One, two, three, four. Good job. Queen of spades. All right. I'm not gonna do the push-ups each time. I know we still have that ace of spades going. I want to save them. Just pull it up. Queen is going to be 12. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. Four. Five. Five. Six. Six. Halfway there. Seven. Seven. Eight, eight, nine, ten, ten, eleven, eleven. Last set, twelve and twelve. Good job. I'm gonna switch dumbbells each hand. Starting to get pretty gnarly blister. All I can for my dumbbell. Ten of spades. I had a feeling these spades were gonna come back and kick me. Right in the keister. Got 10 this time. I'm gonna do as many as I can going down. One. One. Two. Two. Three. All right, I'm gonna do the last five. Just an upright position. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job. If you're doing more push-ups than me, hell yeah, that's awesome. Queen of Hearts. Going back to those Arnolds. Here, our body rest a little bit from the Arnolds. Again, Queen of Hearts. 12, up them out, 1, 2, 3, 4, halfway there, now we're halfway there, 7, 8, 9, 10, 2 more, 11, I know it sucks, it's supposed to be that way. Suck is the indicator that you're working hard most of the time. Doesn't mean you have to suffer, it just means that you're getting something done. Your body's way of telling you that you're building. King of diamonds. I'm not trying to be some motivational guru or you can do it or anything like that. I know it sucks, I know it hurts, but that's part of the point if you want to get stronger. And if you're already okay with how strong you are, then probably isn't for you anyway. You can go ahead and press pause. King of diamonds, that's gonna be 13 flies. One, two, three, four, five, keep those knees slightly bent, six, seven, don't arch the back, eight, nine, 10, 
11, 12, and 13. Four apart, back to the arm. Let's knock these out. One, two, three, and four. Two of hearts. I had two of hearts already, but like I said, I'm terrible at counting. And some of that goes into my short term memory. Two of hearts, two arms. One and two. Also, real quick, when you're bending over, I might not be in the best at it, but a side note, don't just curl over. Always if you can, even if it's eight pounds. Keep your back straight and bend down with it. Two of clubs. That's overhead. I just did it the wrong way, so don't take my advice half the time. Just try to push yourself. Two clubs. One and two. Our form always gets sacrificed when we get tired. And I did it again, see? I'm trying to teach myself here too. That's part of the reason I'm doing these videos. Improving myself as well. Three of clubs. Pick them up the right way. Here we go. There we go. Teach myself here. One, two, and three. Properly placed. Good job, James. Wow. Jack of spades. I'm really impressing myself here. Coming down the right way. Jack. It's going to be 11. I'm holding off with that ace of spades. I'm pretty sure we haven't had it yet. So I'm just going to pull back. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Good job. All right, we've got very few cards left. King of Hearts. That's Arnold's. 13 of them. One, two, three, 10 more. Five, six, seven, eight, five more. Nine, Ten, three more. Two more. Thir 11, 12, 13. There you go. If you did one extra, good job. King of clubs. Again, that's 13. Trying to remember to pick these up properly. I want you guys to do it the right way, too. King of clubs, remember, engaging our legs here. You want a little bit more engagement and knocking them out. Make sure that core is tight. It's a perfect time to check your core. It's four to keep it flexed. It will help you. It will help you very much with these exercises. We're gonna say that six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, two more, twelve. And 13. Properly set them down. All right, we've got like four cards left. Eight of clubs. Again, proper technique. And let's do eight. Engage in the leg. One, check your core. Two, three, four, five, six. Yep, okay. Ocho is eight. I knew it was coming. That ace of spades. Do as many push up punishers as you can here. There's only two cards left, anyways, but I'm gonna kind of have this in the pinnacle. Do 14. I'm gonna try to do all push ups. Just do as much as you can. Yeah. Don't sacrifice the weight, though. 
go down to your knees first before you take the weights off. If you need to. Let's get 14. Let's go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Halfway there. Eight. Try to get the back. I just did. I know I did. Nine. Ten. Four more. Sets. Eleven. Twelve. Two more sets. Thirteen. Keep doing it. Come on. And fourteen. Whew. That sucked. Hope there's another spade. Seven. Of hearts. That's our arms. Proper form. Even if you are tired, look at that. All right. Seven hearts. Seven. One. Two. You should feel exhausted. That's the point. Three. Four. Five. Two more. Six. And seven. Now to our final part. If you're a genius, if you're a rain man, you already know. If you're a normal human being, you don't. But now, it's eight of hearts. Okay. Eight Arnold's. Let's get them. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Two more. Seven. And a chunk of those weights whatever you want to. You don't have to pick them up for the rest of your life if you don't want to. But good job. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.